Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning a Feast for Odin. If you've watched the other videos, you'll have an idea of the rules for a Feast for Odin. I'm going to have a playthrough of a little bit of the first turn or two, uh, so you can get an idea of how the game actually plays. So let's run through it. The start player is red, second player is black. Obviously, if there are more players, then you just keep going around. And it stays in that order. Whoever has the moose will be the first player and we'll discuss on gaining the moose later on if you haven't caught that. The very first thing that happens is we gain an extra Viking, showing we're on round one. Next thing we have a harvest, so everyone gets a level one vegetable. Next we go to the exploration. No exploration happens in this particular turn, so nothing changes up the top with the islands. We each draw a new weapon, so left hand side gains a sword, right hand side also gains a sword. Then we get to the bulk of the game. The red player has the Forester card. Red has a Forester card, which means that once this is turned over and this is actually an occupation, every time red goes to hunt game, which is this path of the card, he'll gain one extra good from a mountain strip. Okay, red is going to start by heading there. At that spot, he'll get three from one of the mountain strips and two from another mountain strip. So he'll take three from that strip and two from that strip. Notice he can't take two, um, five from the same strip. He also gains one card, which will be that one. So once this card is turned over, he'll be able to upgrade four goods. They have to be all the same type or same shape and, and all that stuff but up to four of the same can all upgrade one. It's now Black's turn. Black's starting occupation card, which hasn't been played yet. Uh, as soon as it plays, he'll be able to, as a one-off, gain extra stuff. So he'll gain a wool and a milk uh, if he has at least two sheep. If he has at least four, sh that's inclusive. If he has at least four sheep, he'll gain an extra wool for that as well. Black is going to go here, which again a whole bunch of stuff, so he will gain one of these, a green barrel, and one money. Okay, back to back to Red's turn. Red is going to go up here to spend two of the wood that he's just gained for one of these boats. Cross in the two wood, and that also gains him another card. This card is worth seven points at the end of the game, but as soon as it's played, he'll need to do another feast phase. So that's an extra feast phase on top of the other ones that are going to come his way. So him playing that card is very much a question mark at the moment. Black has three guys left. Red is out of guys, so it's continually Black's turn now. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to spend two of his guys to upgrade three things, one level. So he'll upgrade that one, that one, and that one. So that becomes one of these. That becomes one of these. And that becomes one of these. And then with his last movement, he'll do that again, but for two of the items. So that one will become that. And that one will become that. Okay, he's used all of his things. We now give the moose to the player who plays Vikings last, which is the guy on this side, the black guy. We then move down to the income stage. Before that happens, these guys are going to start placing stuff. So remembering blue can go next to blue. So he's going to start with just doing that, which means this player will get two income. This player will get zero because he doesn't have anything that can cover up things. There's your two income. Then move down to animal breeding. Neither of them have animals, so we can move past that. We move to the feast. So this feast is covered, so all three of these items go back. And that item is covered the same, so those three items will also go back. We then move to any bonuses, so that's the bonuses on these boards. Um, and we don't yet have any bonuses available, so we'll leave them alone. We update the mountain pass, which means taking one off each of these guys and returning that to the supply and flick another board over. Then we move to level 12, which is take all of your guys back. And then we move up to level one on the next round. So black is going to be our first player. First thing that happens is we move a new guy down to show that we're starting a new 
rounds and keep track of which one up to and we're going to have to spend more stuffs. Next thing that happens is level two, we get the bonuses. Notice now that we get the level two as well as level one bonuses. Moving down once again, the islands, uh, nothing happens with them at the moment. We take a new card, so black will take the first one, which is another bow and arrow, and red will take the next, which is also a bow and arrow. Then we move on to the main part of the game. Okay, black is going to use two guys to go here, which gives him three things from the same level. He thinks he'll actually take those three. That also pushes one of his items up one level, and he'll push that one up to a red. Then it's Red's turn. Okay, Red is going to go pillaging, which is two guys, which is the blue die. He rolls a nine. He can re-roll or he can just add stuff to that. He could add a stone and a sword, so he could get that to an 11, and he thinks he will do that, so he's going to discard the sword and the stone, pushing that up to an 11 and he'll take this one, which has number 11 on it. He can't place this one on there yet, at least not to gain income, so he'll just put that to the side and add that in a little while. This guy's going to spend his one wood to get that boat for whaling. Red is going to go to this spot and get one money, one green, and a basket of fruit. And red will also gain another one of these cards. This one allows him to do stuff in the harvest phase where nothing will happen. So it's probably a worthwhile card to get out fairly soon. Okay, black is going to go whaling with three of his guys. He has one ore, or is putting one ore onto his whaling ship. So he'll roll the blue die. He can spend that. And he's got one extra for the ore on the ship. So he's got a two... At the moment, he could spend wood, but he doesn't have any wood. Uh, so that's a, that would be a fail, but he's going to keep rolling. So he's looking for basically a base two. He's got the two, so he's going to take that, which means spend the spear. That all now needs to stay on the whaling boat. But what he gains is that guy, that guy, and that guy. Black also gains one of these occupation cards, which lets him do stuff in the um, production phase that's not going to happen as well if he manages to get that down. It's now Red's turn. Okay, Red is going to go here, which allow him to play two of his cards. So that will allow him to, whenever he goes hunting for game, he'll take an extra thing uh, from this board, and that allows him to, in the um, next Forester phase, where nothing should be given out, he'll be able to take some stuff. He's now out of stuff. Black has one guy left. And he will use it to upgrade two things. So for starters, this one upgrade to that. And the other one will upgrade to, to that guy, which now allows him to get up to the three income um, per each, each income phase. And that one allows him to get up to the two income per income phase. Black was the last person to use the moose, so, or to place guys on the board, so he will hang on to the moose. We move to an income phase, so this guy's getting three money, he's getting two money. Move to the animals, once again neither of them have animals, so nothing happens. Move to the feast, so this guy spending those, and this one's spending those. Move down to bonuses, this guy gains one bonus because that one's totally surrounded, so he'll gain that good. And the other one doesn't have any surround, so he'll sit off on that. We lose one good from each of the mountain strips. which means this one's now empty, so it gets removed from the game. And a new mountain strip comes out. Then we take our Vikings back to start the next round. I think you've got a really good idea of how this game plays. I'll leave you to work out what the points are and um, where you can gain the points from uh, as you're playing. So I'll leave that there. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the games plan to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.